Hi everyone, welcome into this week's My Weekly CBS Fix. Hope you had a wonderful week. This week's parasha is Parshas Vayetze, in which Yaakov Avinu, Jacob our forefather, builds up the entire Jewish nation, the 12 tribes. And in this week's Haftorah, we read from the book of Hosea, who is a contemporary of Isaiah and Micha, and he exhorts the Jewish people to return to Hashem. Now, the contrast with our parasha is Yaakov, you know, Jacob, he built up the entire Jewish nation, and we were supposed to be a nation comprised of 12 different tribes. And together, we form a cohesive unit to serve Hashem. However, during the times of Hosea, there were the 10 tribes that lived in the northern part of Israel, and they went astray. And the connection is, while Jacob was trying to build up the Jewish nation, unfortunately, due to many few sins, few sins, not many, a few sins, too many though, they went astray. The three sins are the fact that they did not trust in Hashem enough, which ultimately led them to idol worship, which led them, unfortunately, three, to bad business practices, not being careful enough with other people's money, stealing. Now, of course, this doesn't necessarily mean in the wholesale sense of they were just a bunch of thieves, but Hashem deals with the righteous people in a much different manner in which He deals with us, and that even if they took an extra penny, if somebody's weights were off by a fraction, Hashem holds that against the Jewish people, this, His holy people. And so therefore, these three sins took, the, took them away from Hashem, and the, Hosea is trying to get the Jewish people to do tshuva. Now the verse says like this, Hashem is saying, <clears throat> or Hosea is saying in the name of Hashem, that Hashem is saying Himself that my nation are tuluim, let me show us you. Like they're in suspense. They're suspended in whether or not they're going to return to Hashem. Now, the reasons for this are, are a few. Like we're saying, when a person is not sure if he should return to Hashem or he's stuck, what he means is, or she means is, like, I'm so far removed from Hashem. I'm, I mean, there's no point. I'm at a point of no return. And I can't go back to Hashem. And so therefore, even though I may want to, I'm suspended in which way I should go. Another reason is a lot of people are suspended whether or not they should return to Hashem because they want to know, is there is there really a Hashem? I mean, there's so much chaos in the world. It just seems like we're saying Aramaic, les dim, les die. It doesn't seem like there's any judgment. It doesn't seem there's any judge. It just seems things seem, things seem too chaotic. And hey, I really wonder, is Hashem interested in us? Is there Hashem? And if there is, is He interested in us? And what can I do about it? Another reason is our sins that we get into, whether it's the idol worship and the bad business practices or not trusting in Hashem, or whether the, the sins that we ourselves do, we feel too comfortable in the sins that we do, and they're part of our life, and it's hard for us to uproot ourselves of those. But nevertheless, Hashem is interested in us returning to Him, and He's interested in returning to us. And while the 10 tribes, this is a very sad point for us in history, we have to know that the 10 tribes going lost are a tremendous loss for us as a people. And, and no matter any Jewish person that goes lost or is not aware of the heritage that they have. And by the way, when we say the 10 tribes went lost, that doesn't mean they're lost or they're like, hey, help us find. No, they're lost. They don't know what their lineage is anymore. And today, there's a lot of people coming to claim that they're Jewish people. It's, it's not certain that they are Jewish and if they are, it's wonderful. If they're not, it's sad. It's just up in the air. And that in itself is sad. And so therefore, it's it's a loss. Like any other, if you had a brother and he wasn't sure where he was, he wasn't sure if he was actually your brother. Or if it was a great, great grandson, you're not sure, is he really related to me? Is he still part of the Jewish nation? We have to feel Hashem's loss. We're, we're talking about the 12 tribes that Jacob tried to build up, and they're lost. And it's very sad. And But... We become lost when we start going away from Hashem. And unfortunately, Hashem says, if you go away from me, I'm going to have to kind of go away from you. But nevertheless, Hashem still wants us. Well, all we have to do is we have to get over that suspension bridge. We're suspended. On this side is Hashem. On this side is us. On this side is our idol worship. On this side are, are our doubts. And on this side are ourselves trying to tell ourselves that we're so far removed from Hashem that He doesn't want us to come back anyway. But of course, that's not true. Hashem wants you to cross that bridge. He wants you to come to the other side. And the Navi is telling us that you can't do it and everybody can do it. There's no such thing as being too far away. So we should all take this message, myself as well. We all have our sins that we do. We all have to 
break them. We have to try to get, try to rid ourselves from them. We can break ourselves out of the shackles of whatever sins that we may do and come back to Hashem. Hashem is waiting for us with open arms. Thank you for listening. Have a great job.